So good evening, everyone, and thank you. The main purpose of this research was to explore the accuracy of film depictions of non-suicidal self-injury and the applicability of research models of self-injury to film. Non-suicidal self-injury has been defined by the International Society of the Study of Self-Injury as the deliberate self-inflicted destruction of body tissue without suicidal intent and for purposes not socially sanctioned. Over the course of the past year, I have been coding and analyzing 28 films, which were released between the years of 1988 and 2016. Films were coded on 32 different variables, including demographic information about the characters that were portrayed, as well as more general information in regards to the film, such as the date of release, the gender of the director, and the setting of the film. Wanting to apply a theoretical framework to my research, I applied the four-function model of self-injury, which was developed by Nock and Princeton in 2004. This model categorizes the functions of self-injury by two dichotomous factors. The first, positive and negative, whereby, sorry, whereby positive refers to the addition of favorable stimuli and negative refers to the removal of aversive stimuli. And the second, automatic or social, which refers to whether or not the function of the behavior is intrapersonal or interpersonal, respectively. Therefore, self-injury's behavior can be divided into the following four subgroups, which you can see on the slide beside me. Automatic positive, which refers to the use of self-injury to create a calming or favorable emotional state. Automatic negative, involving self-injury used to um, remove unwanted or maladaptive emotions. Social positive, which is self-injury used to create, to get attention or um, access material goods from others. And social negative, which refers to self-injury used to get out of social obligations and social responsibilities. Examples of what functions would be categorized under each of these subgroups are also contained on the slide. The accuracy of film portrayals of self-injury was also analyzed through examining demographic criteria, such as race, age, and gender, and the proportion of characters that were considered violent or nonviolent towards others. Results indicated that film portrayals of non-suicidal self-injury are relatively accurate based on the four-function model, where the original results showed that the negative automatic subgroup was more endorsed than any other subgroup, followed by the positive automatic subgroup, and there was no clear difference between the two social subgroups. The sample size of my re research unfortunately did not permit me to test for significance. However, the apparent spread shown by film characters was pretty close to what we see in the original research. Surprisingly as well, the demographic characterizations of self-injury in film were quite accurate in terms of age and gender based on the estimates of previous research. However, this was not always the case. Over time, trends in the data were found and showed more demographically accurate portrayals of self-injury in more recent years. Furthermore, male characters appeared to be more likely to be portrayed as violent over female characters. Implications of this research were discussed in terms of the possibility for normalizing self-injury to have both positive and negative effects on viewers, which include the increase in self, self, sorry, help-seeking behavior and the increase in stigma. Thank you.